Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet the florette stitch. I guess, as you can see, you can see the little bumpies on here. I would not consider this a yarn eater. This stitch uses two basic stitches, the double crochet and the slip stitch to make that a bump effect. It's a very beautiful stitch. So um, information on the yarn that I'm using and the hook size will be in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the florette stitch is done in a multiple of two plus one two plus one for the florette stitch so once you get your chain made what we're going to do is we are going to do a double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook so we do not count the one that's on our hook one two three four and in that fourth stitch we will do a double crochet and now we're going to work a double crochet in every single stitch for the length of the chain. So row one is one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of our row. All right, so I've made it to the end of row one and now we are gonna start row two. Rows two and three are the repeat rows. It is a two row repeat. So let's go ahead and start row two. We are going to chain one and turn our work. That chain one that we just did does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we will pretend like it's not even there. So we're gonna work right back here into this very first stitch and we're gonna do a slip stitch, but you don't wanna do it extremely tight. Just do it kind of loose to normal because we do have to work back into that on the next row. And then we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. And that is what we're going to repeat for row two. We're going to slip stitch into the next, just kind of loosely. And then we're going to double crochet into the next. Loosely slip stitch into the next. And then double crochet into the next. Loosely slip stitch into the next. And then double crochet into the next. And go ahead and repeat this pattern of slip stitch, a double crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, until you make it to the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two. And every time you repeat row two, you should always end in a slip stitch into your last stitch. So row two would all, will always begin with a slip stitch and it will always end with a slip stitch. All right, so now we're gonna start row three. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Again, that chain one does not count as anything. It does not count as a stitch. So we'll just pretend like it's not even there. And we're gonna double crochet right back into that very first stitch here, the slip stitch that we made there on the end. We're gonna do a double crochet right into it. Just like that. And now we're gonna work across and we're gonna put a double crochet in every single stitch. Now, if you look closely, this is the front side of our work. By doing the double crochet slip stitch on the back side, it creates these little poop, little bobble puff things without using um, very much yarn on the front side of your work. It's a great way to make a bobble or a little puff without using an extreme amount of yarn like a normal bubble, bobble or puff would use. All right, then we're gonna double crochet into the next, which is on top of this little puff. It's just right back here. You can see it. Double crochet. And then we're gonna double crochet into the slip stitch here that's between the little puffs. That's why it's important to do them rather loosely so it's easier to get into. And double crochet on top of the next little puff. Double crochet into that slip stitch. And then we double crochet into the next puff. And I'm gonna continue this pattern of double crocheting into every slip stitch and on top of every one of those little puffs from the previous row until we make it to the end. All right, when you're coming to the end of row three and every time that you repeat row three, if you want to try to keep a nice straight edge, um, your last double, double crochet, instead of going into the slip stitch here at the end, 
I always like to go into that chain one and I'm gonna keep right here this chain one so here's the slip stitch that we did that's on the end but if you go into that chain one that we did it kind of keeps a nice straighter edge that's just a tip you don't have to do that but it will keep a nice uh more see that perfectly almost perfectly in line straight edge there for you and that's it now all it is is a repeat of rows two and three so for row four i would just repeat row two which is the bobble row or the little puff row we're going to chain one and turn remember that chain one does not count as a stitch so we'd be working right back into the very first stitch and we will start it with a loose chain or a loose slip stitch like that and then we do our double crochet into the next remember i'm just repeating row two right now and then loosely slip into the next and then double into the next loosely slip into the next and then double into the next now you would just repeat this pattern all the way to the end and remember you would always end and a slip stitch every time you repeat this row and when you flip it back around to the right side there's your bobbles so you just keep repeating rows two and three and after a while your piece will start to look like this you kind of see the bobbles if i hold it up here or the little puffs it's a beautiful stitch and oh and here's the back side in case you wondered pretty clean on the back this looks like straight up double crochets in the front you got the little bobbles so i hope that you enjoyed my enjoyed my tutorial um, and, uh, I'll see you guys on my next one. All right. Bye.